الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا ربي زدني علما قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم صدق الله العظيم This ayah that I have recited to you comes from Surah At-Tawbah This is ayah number 128 This ayah was revealed during the Madani period when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was in Medina. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the love of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam for his ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also talks about his love for all beings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, laqad ja'akum came to you Rasulun, a messenger, min and fusikum from among you, so that you can relate to him, he can relate to you, you can talk to him, he can talk to you, you can understand him, he can understand you, same being, in similar capacity, so that this relationship can be established, min and fusikum, and azizun alayhi ma'anittum. And it goes very hard on him if you bear hardships. We have created him special. He has special capabilities. But when you bear hardships, he see you bearing hardship, he feels for it. حَرِيسٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ And he wants more and more and more out of my mercy for you. He wants you to succeed. So what kind of Prophet is this for the mu'mineen? Ra'uf and Rahim. Extremely merciful individual. Extremely kind, humble, loving, caring. This is the kind of a prophet we have sent to you. So when we send to you such a prophet, we addressed him such. That, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ That, O oh, Prophet, we have sent you as a prophet of mercy. For all worlds, not just for humans, not just for Arabs, for all beings in all worlds. That's why when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam defined himself, he said, Ana Muhammad, I am Muhammad, wa Ahmad, I am Ahmad, I am Mahi, and I am Nabi Rahma. I am a prophet of mercy that have been sent to you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the Qur'an in Surah Al-Baqarah, فَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ If the Allah's blessing and mercy was not upon you, لَكُنْتُمْ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Suddenly you have lost your ways. So coming of the Prophet is a mercy. Because remember in the story of Adam alayhi salam that I've told you so many times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a promise. فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَى When the guidance will come to you from me. And that promise was fulfilled from Adam to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the final messenger. Every messenger that came was fulfilling that promise. And the promise was that when the guidance come to you from me, through my prophets and my messengers, فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَى فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَا And whoever gets that guidance, holds on to it, dies on it. فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَى فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَا فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ These are the people that don't have to worry about on the Day of Judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings forth this religion on the principles of His love and mercy. Because He loves us. He loves us so much that He wants us to be guided. Because He wants to fill His Jannah with us. 
Not his naar, not his jahannam, not his punishment. He doesn't want that for us. But the shaitan is constantly looking for ways to take us there. And the Quran in Surah An-Nur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ it's not like read the salah, maintain it, establish it, understand the value of salah, the prayers, the five daily prayers, and more. The five compulsory one and extra ones, but the five compulsory one, maintain them, hold your ground, steadfast. And that's very important. And then, وَآتُ zakah, Give money out. Which is required money out and extra. And all of this has been set for you. Why? Because remember, you have been given the profit of mercy. And Allah is so merciful on you that He has given you means of paying these charities. And remember, وَأَطِيعُ rasul, And you have to be obedient to your prophet. What does that mean? These are the two principles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has defined. And then, وَأَطِيعُ rasul means all other principles the Prophet talks about, you have to follow them. All of the ways of success the Prophet tells you, you have to follow them. وَأَطِيعُ rasul that encompasses everything. And it also encompasses everything that when he asks you, don't do this, refrain from it. And in order for us to know what to do, what not to do, we got to read, we got to learn. It would not come through revelation. This 10 minutes khutbah or 15 minutes or 20 minutes is not enough. We have to go back and look at the founding principles on which this very religion stands so that we can put it down in our roots. And water it with faith. So when this tree grows strong, and then this tree, when the fruits come, our offspring, we can deliver the same nutrients to them. So when their seedlings go in the ground and make more trees, the faith is there. The faith is very important. And this faith is driven with love and care and mercy. Not with hatred, anger, animosity. Somehow these, the purity of heart was taken away someplace. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَطِيعُ rasul." Why? لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ So the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is upon you. And remember one thing in your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in Surah Al-Ahzab. أَنَّبِيُّ أَوْلَى بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ the love of the Prophet must supersede all loves that a human heart can possess for beings, for the other beings, for the other creations. The love of the Prophet must supersede that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in Surah Al-Fatah, Inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadira. O Prophet, we have sent you to them so that you are witness among them. You give them good tidings and warn them. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ So that they believe in Allah and His Prophet. And then these two words that I'm about to give you that shows the Prophet's respect in the Qur'an. And Allah is telling us, وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ You must help him and you must put him in the high esteem. Among the beings. Because he's my messenger. He's my prophet. He is talking what I tell him to do. مَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ He doesn't speak out of his own mind. I tell him what to speak, what not to speak. So when you hear anything from him, that's from me. For that very reason, in this ummah, People have taken, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such a good fear, in the, uh, took good care on the field of hadith. Because hadith are the words of the Prophet, but they are by the will of Allah, that he must tell the people this and that. But these words are not recorded in the Qur'an. So people have done 
this extra, extra effort to preserve the hadith, the sayings of the prophets, the doing of the prophets, so that we can learn the way of the prophet. Allah wa atiyah rasul so that we can be obedient. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about one more thing, which shows us the high value of our prophet, even in the skies. A lot of the question, a lot of the time people ask this question. When do prophets become prophets? Do they become prophets when they receive the first revelation? Or are they prophet by birth? Quran says they are prophet before they are born. They are prophets in the world of spirits. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْ أَخَذَ اللَّهُ مِيثَاقَ النَّبِيِّينَ لَمَا تَيْتُكُمْ مِنْ كِتَابٍ وَحِكْمَةٍ ثم جاءكم رسول مصدقا لما معكم لا تؤمن به ولا تنصرنه قال أقررتم وأخذتم على ذلك مصري قالوا وقررنا الله سبحانه وتعالى says that in that times when the spirits were there I summoned the spirits of the prophets and told them when I give you the guidance, the book, and there shall come a prophet after you, and you will witness his time, you must help him. You must believe in him. Your kalima will be, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. And they all said, Aqrarat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do you agree? Do you say, do you take oath on him? Qalu aqrarna, yes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قَالَ فَشْهَدُوا وَأَنَا مَعَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Of all of this oath, I am the witness. Who is the witness of this oath? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is no ordinary thing we're talking about. Why am I bringing this to you? Because you are the follower of that Prophet. I am the follower of that prophet. Take courage in it. Take pride in it. Don't hide it. It is a thing to be shown and told. Not to be thing to be hidden and not told. That I am the follower of the prophet of mercy. And I am merciful. I love everybody. Because my prophet loved everybody. People stoned him in the city of Taif. وَجَاءَ جِبْرِيلِ وَمَعَهُ And Jibreel came and with him was the Malaku al-Jibal, the angel of the mountain. The angel of the mountain said, Assalamu salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. You can command whatever you wish. If you wish me to crush these people of Taif in the mountains, because they did this to you, they hurt you so much, they throw, throw stones at you, that your shoe is filled with your blood. You must order, I must crush them and they won't exist. And the Prophet said, no. Allahumma ihdi qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, guide these people. They don't know who I am. They don't know. This is the Prophet we are talking about. This is the Prophet we need to learn about and bring in our lives the love, the care. And it has to come from heart. This is not something that gets processed up here. It's something that gets processed down here. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم